This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another edition of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question from a user on how can I use Spotlight to display reference images inside of ZBrush. So I just have ZBrush loaded up here, and the first thing I need to do is import in my reference images. So I'm going to navigate here to the Texture tab, and I'm going to click Import. And I have a series of images right here, some clothing reference. So I'm just going to select all three of those guys and then just click open. And after you click open, these are actually going to appear up here in the texture tab. Next, I'm just going to select each of those guys and then click add to spotlight. And this is going to throw all of those maps into spotlight. Now, once these maps are in spotlight, you'll notice that light box is open. So I'm going to press comma to close light box. And then I'm going to navigate on the spotlight wheel here to this tile unified button. I'm just going to go ahead and click that. So now I have all these images roughly the same size and they're all loaded in. And I can position them like so to establish kind of reference images while I'm working on my model. Now by default to hide this little wheel you just press Z and I'll clear it. But spotlight in general is set up to be used as a sculpting helper or a texturing device. So if I try to sculpt on my model here and it's actually away from these images, you're going to notice nothing's going to happen. If I move my model close to one of these images here and now sculpt, you'll notice that it's going to allow me to sculpt on the mesh. And this is doing this because Spotlight is looking at these actual images here as the areas that allow me to sculpt on my model here. So it's going to use the properties of these images to apply sculptural detail or texturing to the surface of the model. So if I just want to use these as reference, so I can just live on the outskirts here, I just need to change the setting in my brushes. So I'm going to navigate over here to the brush palette, and then I'm going to go to the samples tab here, and underneath samples there's a button that should be turned on by default called Spotlight Projection. Now if I disable this, and now coming back to my model and sculpt, you'll notice I'm going to be able to sculpt on the mesh. So with this process, you can come through and use Spotlight to position your reference material, scale them up and down, do whatever you want to kind of do with these guys, and place them around your scene, and then sculpt your model like so. Now if you want to save these images that you've already loaded into Spotlight, just come up to the top to the texture palette again and click Save Spotlight. And that will allow you to save those images out for later use in different scenes. So if you have any additional questions on any processes inside of ZBrush, use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. So I hope that helps, and happy ZBrushing.